what's going on guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you how you can transfer all of your data from your old samsung galaxy device to your new samsung galaxy z flip 5 so you can see i have the flip 5 right here and i'm actually going to show you guys two ways to do this the first method is when you got this phone fresh out of the box and you haven't set it up at all i'm going to show you how you can transfer all of your data to your new phone during the initial setup and the second way is I'm going to show you how you can transfer all of your data from your old phone to your new phone after you've already set it up. So maybe you've been using the Z Flip 5 for a couple of days and you took a few photos and you've already got a few things set up and you don't want to lose that data, but you want to transfer everything from your old phone to your new phone and add on top of all of the things that you already have on this phone. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So what I'm going to do is reset my phone back to factory settings. And if you want to do that too, you can follow along. All you need to do is go to your phone settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, go to about phone. And then at the bottom, you'll see it says reset. Tap on that and then go to factory data reset and scroll down all the way to the bottom and just tap reset. Then enter your phone's pin and tap delete all. Now I'm just going to ask you to log into your Samsung account. So enter your password, then tap OK. And there you go. Now you can see it's going to reset our phone back to factory settings. All right, guys, there we go. We've officially done a factory reset. And this is exactly the screen you're going to see if it's your first time taking the phone out of the box and powering it on for the first time. So this is the setup wizard. So what we're going to do is just select our language here and then we're going to hit start. Now in here, we just have to agree to the uh, license agreement and the privacy policy settings. We can agree to all. And then you can also uncheck this one if you don't want to send diagnostics data to Samsung. I typically disable this one, but you do have to agree to these two. So just do that, tap agree. And there you go. Now you can see it's asking us if we want to copy data from an existing Samsung Galaxy device. So right here, if you have a Galaxy or an Android phone, like a Pixel phone or even an iPhone, you can transfer all of your data to your new Galaxy device. So just select whichever one of these is appropriate. So I'm going to tap Galaxy or Android device. Now you can see it gives us a QR code. And actually, if your other phone is nearby, it should already recognize that. So there you go. You can see it says set up Galaxy Z Flip 5. So we're going to tap set up right there. Now it says scan the QR code. So we're going to pick this phone up, scan this QR code. And now we just have to verify our identity. So we'll just authenticate. And there you go. You can see it says continue set up on your new device. So we'll just move this to the side. And now it's going to take us through the rest of the setup wizard on this phone. So now what we're going to do is copy the actual data from our phone, like our photos, our videos, our contacts, our messages, and everything else. So right here, we're just going to tap next, then tap next again. And now it's going to ask us to grant permission to all of these things on our phone because it needs to be able to read all of the data to be able to transfer it to our new phone. So just go ahead and hit allow. And now right here is giving us an option if we want to transfer wirelessly, wirelessly or use a cable instead. Now you can transfer wirelessly if maybe you have an old phone or you're running out of battery and you don't want your phone to run out of battery while the transfer is happening, especially if you're transferring a lot of data, it's going to take a long time. So you can do a wireless transfer and then plug your phone into a power source and allow it to finish, or you can use a cable instead, which I would suggest if you have enough battery life because using a cable is going to transfer data faster than if you were to do it wirelessly. So I'm just gonna say, use a cable instead. Now it's just asking me to plug everything in. So I'm just gonna take this cable that came with the Galaxy Z Flip. This should be in your box. I'm just gonna plug these two phones into each other. And I'm just gonna do a quick scan to find all of the data that it can transfer from the old phone to the new phone. So just give it a few seconds. All right, and here we go. Now you can see it's asking us what we want to transfer. So we can transfer everything from our old phone to our new phone. You can see I have 44 gigabytes of data, which will take about 43 minutes to do the whole transfer. We can do just calls, contacts, and messages, which is just 34 megabytes of data. And you can see this will take just about a minute, or we can do a custom transfer of data. And if you select this, and then we tap next. You can see that it's going to ask you what exactly you want to transfer. So you can see I have about 16 gigabytes of apps, but maybe I don't want to transfer all of the apps. So I can go in here and then deselect whichever apps I don't want to transfer and select only the ones that I do want to transfer to my old phone. So this is definitely a really nice feature. You can also go to messages, hit this little arrow, and you can see that you can transfer anything for maybe just the last 30 days or the last couple of months or the last couple of years or all of your messages. So definitely a really nice little option that they give you here just to transfer exactly what you want but if you want to transfer everything definitely go ahead and tap everything and then just hit next 
And that's it, you're pretty much good to go. Now it's just going to start transferring all of the data from your old phone to the new phone. And while that's happening in the background, you're just gonna get prompted to go back to the setup wizard and set up the rest of your phone while the transfer is happening in the background. So now just go through the rest of these pages and just read through all of the prompts and everything that's happening. Here, we're gonna just tap next. And here you can set up face unlock or fingerprint unlock, pin, password, or pattern. You can see it's actually all done already because again, that was only about a minute to transfer everything because we're transferring just our contacts. But going back to here, you can set up your you know authentication process if you wanna use face unlock, fingerprint, pin, password, password or pattern uh, just for the sake of this video I'll just do pin for now just to make this nice and quick All right, now it's asking us to set up our Google Assistant. I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom and hit skip. You can do this later in, in the settings if you want. So I'm just gonna skip it for now. Uh, so we'll hit skip again. All right, now it's asking us if we want any of these recommended apps. I usually always uncheck these because I don't really use these, but if you want these, go ahead and leave them enabled and then tap next. Now here you can go through and read some of these things. I'm gonna leave all of these enabled because I do like these Samsung services. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave these enabled and then tap agree. Here we can select light or dark mode. I'm of course going to go dark, tap next, next. And there you go, you can see we are all set up. So now all we gotta do is hit finish. And you can see we are greeted with the home screen of our phone. And here it says all done. So you can now just tap done and unplug this. You don't need this anymore because the transfer is complete. And if we go over to this phone, you can see that the data transfer is now complete. It's just doing a few other things in the background to get everything set up. But if we actually go to our phone, we should have all of our contacts in here. So yeah, there you go. You can see all of our contacts were indeed transferred. Now let's say you want to transfer all of your data from your old phone to your new phone without doing a factory reset. Maybe you've already set up your phone. You've gone through that whole setup wizard that you guys just saw, and you don't wanna have to do it all over again. Well, to do that, what you would need to do is go to the Galaxy Store, on both of your phones and install the Samsung Smart Switch uh, mobile application. You can see this is already installed on both of these phones. It should come installed on your phone, but if you have an older phone or you just for some reason don't have it, go to the Galaxy Store and install it. And then once you got it, just tap open. And now you can see we have the option to send data or receive data. So obviously on the new phone, we're gonna tap receive data. And then on our old, old phone, we're gonna uh, select send data. And again, here you have the option between cable and wireless. Uh, we're gonna do cable again. You can do wireless if you want. And then here, just select if it's an iPhone, iPad, or a Galaxy or an Android phone. So obviously it's a Galaxy, and then we'll select cable here as well. And again, all you gotta do is pretty much repeat the process. So plug these phones into each other. And you can see it's gonna start searching for all of the data on this phone that is um, eligible to get transferred. And again, you can just select everything just accounts, calls, uh, contacts, or do a custom. So this time I'm just gonna select everything. You can see this is 44 gigabytes of data. It's going to take 45 minutes, but I just wanna show you guys how everything gets transferred over. So we're gonna hit uh, next. Oh, and of course this will transfer your secure folder if you have one set up. So just go ahead and uh, put in your pin in order to do that. And then of course, WhatsApp data doesn't get transferred. So we're just gonna hit next there. And there you go. Now you can see the transfer has pretty much started. We just gotta wait out this 46 minutes. So I'm just gonna pause the video here and then we'll come back as soon as this is done. All right, guys, there we go. As you can see, the transfer has just completed and that did actually take around 40, 45 minutes. Uh, as it estimated so those estimations are pretty accurate but there you go you can see now everything has been transferred it says right here you can now disconnect the usb cable so we don't need our old phone anymore all of our data has been transferred to the new phone so we're just going to tap go to home screen and you're pretty much good to go you can now start using your phone it is still doing some stuff in the background so you can see it says organizing uh, your transferred data so there's a few minutes left on that it's also going to go and install all of your remaining applications so you can see some of these are still grayed out because they haven't completely uh, downloaded from the play store yet or the um, app store or the galaxy store so they're in a queue and they're just going to be installing and downloading on your phone in the background but you you are free to start using your phone pretty much. Uh, you can go ahead and set up all of your settings. But at this point, all you gotta do is just wait this out, let everything finish downloading, and you're pretty much all set up. All right guys, so check this out. You can see that my phone now looks exactly like my Galaxy S23 Ultra. The data transfer is complete, and it's moved over my wallpaper and rearranged all of my icons and all of my widgets and everything to copy my Galaxy S23 Ultra. You can see that these phones are now pretty much an exact mirror of each other. But there you go, guys. Those are the two methods to easily transfer all of your data from your old phone to your new phone. But that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.